Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. Uh, today I wanted to do a short video just showing you how you can install uh, the very latest Microsoft operating system, which is Windows 11. Um, it's still in sort of early release beta sort of stage, so I wouldn't necessarily run it on any live system, but that's where it's perfect to run it on a QNAP. Uh, we have a virtualization station application that allows you in, uh, to install virtual machines uh, direct from, from an ISO. Um, so I have got the ISO downloaded um, onto my NAS. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up uh, our Virtualization Station 3 software. Um, then you want to click Create VM at the top there. Um, you can call it whatever you want. So let's just call this Windows 11. Um, we haven't added Windows 11 into the list yet, but the hardware used for Windows 10 does work with Windows 11, and this is really just uh, picking which virtual hardware we're, we're assigning through. So I'm going to leave that on Windows 10, um, change your CPU cores to whatever you would like. Um, the RAM, you can change that to whatever you need. So let's say give it four gig. Um, what I'm going to do now is browse for the CD image. So as I've got that on this NAS, it's in the virtual folder. If I scroll down, there's the uh, Windows 11 development ISO that I've got. Click OK. I'm going to put this in the same virtual folder. So I'll just click virtual there. Um, so that's how I've got it completely set up. It's using the virtual switch of my main network adapters. Um, and I've just left most of the things as default, like legacy BIOS. You can change this to UEFI if you want to. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on legacy because it's just for testing. Um, so that's everything set up. It is going to ask you if you want to uh, go through an automatic install uh, solution. Um, I'm choosing to click cancel on that because Windows 11 is different from Windows 10. So the options are slightly different, but it's very familiar to anybody that's installed Windows 10. So I'm going to click cancel on that one. Um, so now that's done, we have the Windows 11 virtual machine. It just needs booting up. So I'm going to hit the power button and then click on the thumbnail, which will uh, grant me remote access into the system. So we'll click power, we'll jump straight in. And we should see it starting to boot up the, uh, the operating system fairly quickly. Um, so then we'll be able to go through the uh, full install process um, of the, the Windows VM. So let's click into that. Here we go. So now we're just going to wait for it to pop up the uh, the sort of standard wizards. Um, as I don't have a product key, um, I'm just going to click the uh, I don't have a key option when it comes up. Um, so this will just be uh, for development purposes, having a little test, uh, not for a live system or a, or a business use case. Um, so here we see the, uh, the main interface. So we'll go down, we'll pick English UK. That's where I'm based. Click Next. Click Install Now. Um, so for... For anybody that's installed Windows 10, you'll notice this is quite similar to the uh, the Windows 10 process. Uh, here's the option to say I don't have a product key. If you do, by all means, enter it there. So I don't have a product key. And now you get to pick which version of Windows that you want to do. So I'll do Windows uh, 11 Pro. Click Next. Accept the uh, licensing. Uh, upgrade or custom install. So I'll do custom and just click Next. And now it's going to go off, uh, copy all the files, get them ready, uh, install everything, um, and then we'll be um, we'll be back at the the end of the installation process where we can go through the uh, the Windows setup wizard for the OS itself. Okay, we'll be we'll rejoin you in a minute when this is finished. Okay, so that only took a couple of minutes, and now we've got the uh, Windows 11 Pro installed, and now we just have to go through the uh, the setup uh, wizard for the operating system itself now. Um, so now it's just asking some basic information, keyboard setups, things like that. So we'll just pick English UK. Um, I don't need to add a second keyboard layout. Um, but this is, this is effectively Windows 11 um, uh, fully installed. This is just personalizing it to, to how you want to use it. Um, very quick and easy to install. Uh, the NAS I've used for this is the TVS-H1288X. Um, it's running QTS currently, um, but this NAS does support QTS and uh, QUTS Hero. Um, so you've got two options on it there for the, for the different options. Um, so yeah, this is where you just add your Microsoft account if you wanted to. Um, so it seems like you've, you've really got to do it. There's different options for different sign-in options. So you can say offline account if it's just a test one. 
Um, so you get some uh, options here. It's really, really trying to convince you to use an account. I'm going to say I'm fine with the limited experience. So we'll say, what's your name? Craig. Set a password. Set a password. There we go. Um, security question. What's your first pet's name? Test. Second question. Testing. And last one, we'll say is test it. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the installation done. Um, so it's just going to ask you a lot of different questions here. But yeah, this is uh, Windows 11 that's uh, fully set up, ready to go. So um, if anybody has any questions on um, how to uh, set this up or anything like that, please do let us know um, in the comments below, and uh, we'll be able to get back to you as quick as possible. I'll just finish all this off before we finish out. Okay, and for those of you that stuck with us to the end, uh, here's the, the brand new Windows 11 um, interface. Um, so this is all completely set up. Uh, start to finish, it's, uh, it's less than 10 minutes on this particular NAS, um, the, the TVS-H1288X with, with all the CPU cores and a, a decent amount of RAM allocated. Uh, if you're using this on a less powerful QNAP, it might take a little bit longer. Um, but that's the uh, the full setup uh, all the way through to uh, the full Windows 11 setup. So very very easy to do, um, and a great a great place for you to test anything without affecting your live systems. Okay, again, if there's any questions, please do let us know in the uh, comment section down below, and we'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Thanks very much. Bye.